Lately, I've been doing a series where I give Sims the life that I think they deserve in The Sims 2. I will eventually do other games where it has only been The Sims 2 so far. But the reason that I wanted to start this was mainly for Nervous Subject, just because his life is going so terribly when you first load up The Sims. Like, as a child, he's been taken away by the CPS. He lives with the Beakers, where it's implied that they're conducting tests on him. And he's the son of the Grim Reaper, so that can't be a good omen either. I'm not going to spoil it, but I have plenty of ideas of how we can improve Nervous's life. So let's jump into it. So this is where Nervous Subject lives with the Beakers. I never knew how to say this name. I always said Cersei because I think that's the British way of saying it. But I have heard it be called Cerse. So I'll probably just be jumping in between the two throughout this because I don't know what to actually call her. So what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighbourly Loki and Cersei Beaker performing on poor Nervous Subject? Will this secrecy affect Cersei's career ambitions? I nearly called her Cerse then so it's already going to go wrong. Cersei wants a big promotion. Get us to work in a good mood and maybe a it will pay off. Well, guess where you're not fucking going, sir? Say you aren't. Going for a nap. <laughs> Let's ruin that chance at promotion. Oh, you're scared of getting fired? Lock that in. Her car's here. She thinks she's going, but you're not. Get yourself back to sleep. So here's Nervous, already getting his own back on the beakers, which you like to see. Looking very grim, reapery. Oh, he likes it. Never mind. So the first thing that I want to do is get poor Nervous into a relationship because he needs someone to confide in because he's going to do some pretty bad things. So I want to start with something quite nice. So Sims in The Sims 2 did have a hidden attraction meter, as in it showed whether they had a preference for men or women, and Nervous is one of the only ones in the game that has a pre-existing like for men, or a dislike for women. I can't remember what it said. I'm Pascal Curious. I'm getting by curious. I'm asking you out on a date. You better not be at work. It is noon on a Thursday, so I have a strong feeling he will be, but you up for it? He is. Community lot. Sounds great. I'll see you soon. Don't be late. I am not inviting my captors on my date. Thank you. They're not the best captors in the world, though. They're not going to stop me from sneaking out. I've reset the neighborhood, so there's nothing I can do other than go to the community pool, I guess. So <laughs> let's go for a swim. I sped through that, but he fully just drove off a cliff there. That's the end. That's the life I thought he deserved. Just straight off a cliff. Oh, you're pregnant with a baby. This is good. This is going to be a good day. I just realized I said pregnant with a baby. Can't really be pregnant with much else, can you? I don't remember him having music when he turns up on a lot. He wants to talk. He wants to be tickled. He wants to play. And he wants to dance. Let me tickle you while you're weeing so you miss. I just want a little grab of that baby, really. <laughs> Give me that. Have a pillow fight and dance. Oh, you are weird. Let me just flirt with you. Oh, I've moved in far too quick. I'm so sorry. I meant to press charm. I pressed caress. Well, he likes it. What are my turn-ons? Blonde hair, grey hair. Okay. <laughs> None of the things that you have. Brilliant. I'm determined to keep most of this day at the toilets. Well, I was planning on moving the day to the hot tub, but I forgot that Pascal's pregnant at the start of this. Um, I'm going to get in anyway. I'm just going to leave you to do whatever you need to do. Will you get in? No, you really can't. All right. I'll slow dance with you since you want to dance, but you've ruined this date for me, baby. Oh, I'm in love. Does he better love me back. Oh, am I about to get mugged? I was tripped because he was wearing swimwear, so I couldn't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> One, you just messed up my mohawk. Two, is my wallet up my ass? Where did you get that from? Come here. Fisticuffs. You're in for it now, pal. <laughs> I didn't know that music played when you fought him as well. Oh, I lost. I lost more money. What the fuck? Right, do you know what? I don't care. I'm a grass. <laughs> Report foul play. Someone come and get him. You better not be leaving. Stay there. Oh, I'm so relaxed about the fact he just stole from me. <laughs> not him again. We'll set up a roadblock and catch that rat yet. Thanks for the tip. I better be getting a tip as well. I'll have 250 simoleons, please, because I've just had that nicked. Oh, yeah, I am on a date. I did forget. When we've got an hour left, quick, eat with him. Let's have a toast. A very formal toast, which is weird because we have hot dogs for dinner, but oh no, I'm too sad about losing a fight. That was a great time. You're so much fun. I can hardly wait until next time. At least he's saying there's going to be a next time. Let's go home. I've got some nefarious things planned <laughs> and I can't do that on a date. My plan wasn't to get along with my captors at all, but I, apparently I am. What I do want to do is give them a taste of their own medicine. So this is my basement. Let me run down here real quick and then call over and call over. Good, you're both here. I'll I'll just head up here and I'll just move this coffee table there. You can easily step around it, but she won't. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be down there forever, but you're not going to be coming up for a long time. Stop gossiping about my boyfriend. <laughs> Actually, let me back down there. There's two things I want. Firstly, I want to ruin your marriage. So I'm just going to give this guy a little flirt. Oh, he liked it. I didn't think he would. <laughs> And while I'm down here, I'll get a job. Education was the career that I was going to go for, and it's come up first. So I'm going to take that. I feel like Nervous would be really nurturing, you know, because he lost his mum. I mean, he didn't lose her, but he has the family aspiration. And I feel like that trauma would make him so much better at looking after kids. Anyway, see you both. 
Ah, oh, shit, I've got work soon. I'm just gonna have to go kind of tired. Someone better than me is gonna have to monitor that playground because I am gonna be paying half attention. Sorry, kids. I'll go read a book for fun and then I'll be ready for the day. I can eat at school. Okay, they're struggling enough. I'll just pop this back there. And there you go. Ah, <laughs> you missed the toilet right in front of it. Are you about to miss the toilet in the same place just because you're so hungry? Because that's very embarrassing for you. This is what I wanted to see. All right, now go and eat a moldy plate of food because you're not dying yet. I better eat at work. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short-lived playthrough because I'll be dead. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. Oh, we're okay. Promoted already. Teacher's aid. And my boyfriend's here. Oh, you've come to congratulate me. Come here. I'm going to give you a nice romantic kiss. That was actually very moany and not very romantic. It kind of grossed me out. Anyway, Loki, go stand over here. Nervous. Go and watch this. We're forcing him to use this. Don't ask me how. I'm just coercing him into it. He doesn't have gold aspirations, so the likelihood is this might end him. <laughs> and that's fine. That's what we want. Oh, good. We're all come to watch. So now we really are forcing him. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> His knees are dropping and they're dropping fast. You all right, pal? <laughs> Straight to the toilet again. You've run past the toilet, you idiot. You're gonna miss because you're complaining about being hungry and being tired. Okay. Well, you stay there. Meanwhile, I'll get in this bed. Excuse the fuck out of me, Cersei or Cers. We're good. I kicked her out. So what I'm hoping is that Loki's hunger drops while he's asleep. And then Nervous will have a chance to see his dad, which I think is gonna be really, really nice. A nice little welcome reunion for him. Okay, he's awake. That hunger bar looks pretty low. Just get a quick piss out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna plead for you. I just want to watch. So let me in. I really couldn't care less. But look at this. Isn't that nice to see? Hi, dad. See you, Dad. <laughs> it was great seeing you once. The Cersei's carpool is here, but she is here. I don't think she's going to work today. But I'm going to get my mum round. It's time to fix this relationship. Hi. Is it weird if I go straight for a hug? Considering this is probably the first time we've seen each other in years. Oh, she liked it. Uh, I'm friends with my mum again. All right, well, she just said bye. <laughs> I hugged her and she fucked off. So, not the best. I was kind of hoping she'd move in. Now this random girl's still here. But at least Cersei's falling out with her. Yes, you go, Ophelia. You don't care about anything this woman has to say. None of us do. She's probably just whining about her dead husband again. Um, what is going on down here? <laughs> oh, no! That's two fights I've lost. And this is meant to be me improving my life. No, I'm not standing for this. Get me up here. I'm getting fucking ripped. Nice. Body level five. I am going to adopt a pet though because he's desperate for a kitten a puppy and a kitten or a puppy so that's an easy win for aspiration points shite the carpool comes in an hour <laughs> i've been up all night i never get cats so i'm gonna do that a little pet called if i'm called nervous i want my pet to be called anxious subject okay i'm off to work so cersei i know we fucking hate each other but if you can please look after my pet for me while i'm out that'd just be brilliant thank you who just left my cat out here <laughs> You're fucking kidding yourself if you think you're going to work, Cersei. Let's leave that. You've got a fair baby now, Cersei. You're a pet mom, so come and pick him up. Or her up. I never remember if it's a boy or a girl, and I don't remember how to check. Like, seriously, though, is it a boy or a girl? Do you know what? This cat is non-binary. We're going with they from now on, because I just do not know. I, I don't pay enough attention. Oh, that's pretty cute, though. But Cersei, you're not allowed to enjoy that. So if you could just take the cat into the house, that'd be great. And we want the best bed, the best food bowl. And a cat toy. Cersei, put the fucker down. I'm not going to lie, Cersei. You are doing my head in. Get back to your basement right now. I don't have much money, but I also don't need a computer. So let me get rid of that and this plant and this mirror. No vanity in this house. And there you go. This is where you live now. But since that technically means I'll live alone now because she is going to die down there, it's time for me to finally marry Pascal. Uh-oh, my cat's pretty much dying. When do I come back from work? Because I'm worried I'm going to get my cat taken away. <laughs> Why do I already want another cat? Okay, I'm back soon. Anxious, if you can just hang on a couple of minutes, pal, you're going to be all right. There we go. Fill the bowl. I got promoted somehow, but I didn't have enough friends for it, so I don't know how that happened. But I'm a substitute teacher, so <laughs> good for me. Okay, cat, I will talk to you, I promise, but please go and eat. Oh, I know. You're so cute. Now go and eat your food. Yeah, everything's good. Prayers for eating pet food, and I'll give you all the love. Oh, never mind. Anxious subject is a boy, it does say. He, they. Oh, my energy's not great, but I think coffee's just gonna have to do because I need to marry Pascal. I need to do it tonight. You might be wondering why, and I won't tell you. Yeah, good. Clean up this kitchen because it's a fucking tip. Let's make it nice and romantic up here. Oh, he's already appeared. Half appeared. He's kind of a faded in ghost. Oh, damn it. I thought I was doing a really good job with putting these lights like from the chimney to the wall. 
wall. And then I realized it wasn't in line. So we'll just pretend that physics don't exist and this works. Throw up a few roses. There we go. I mean, it looks very, very repetitive, but I just needed it to be light. Okay, Pascal, come upstairs and join me. Oh, I just searched the entire house. He was following me. Propose engagement. I don't know if he loves me. Oh, no, he's fine. That, <laughs> that was the face of someone who is okay with this. So we're all right. All right, he wants to woohoo now. I'm all for extramarital things. <laughs> join me on this bed then. So we'll just do this quick. And you know what? I'm just going to get married. Let's just not waste any time. There we are. Dream date. Just sleep for a little bit longer and I'll get married in the morning because I'm a brave. I'm very tired. I don't want to have eye bags in my wedding pictures, you know? Okay, he's waking up, so get married now. Hey, I think I'm going to take off. I'm not in a very good mood. Don't you care about what I need? Wow, that was about the best time I've ever had with anybody. I really want to go out with you again. <laughs> Make up your fucking mind, Pascal. All right, I'll guess I get married tomorrow then. Oh, she's having a terrible time down here because everything's so messy. So here, have a sink. And you can have a little trash chute too so that you can keep everything nice and clean. Just because you're my prisoner doesn't mean that we have to live in squalor, does it? Oh, I got promoted again and I didn't even have the skills or the friends. I don't know why I keep getting promoted. I didn't think you physically could. I'm an elementary school teacher now, but that's good. Right, time to make this house busy as fuck. First, I'm inviting Pascal school round. We're getting married. Second, I'm inviting my mum round. She's moving in. And then obviously we're going to have an alien baby soon. <laughs> um, I don't really want to deal with a baby, but that's not my job. That's Pascal's job. It's his fault for getting knocked up. All right. Not me. Propose, join Union. Let's just do it quick. Oh, he's happy he married a rich sim and I'm just happy I married a sim. That means he's not bringing in a lot of money, doesn't it? Well, fuck me sideways. That's rubbish. Do not give immediate birth. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Olive, I'm proposing that you move into with this girl. I can't remember if she's like a niece or something. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you, Olive. Hey, you are more than welcome to move in with me. I also want to adopt a child. And you know what? Yes, this is going to get very bad very quick, but it's what Nervous wants, all right? Not what I want. Are you sure you want to adopt a child? I mean, no, I'm not, but I will. Has that convinced you? Congratulations, your request to adopt has been approved. We are all confident that you'll make a great parent. Thanks, I'm not. Can't even remember to feed my cat. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I've already adopted a kid, so I knew I was getting a kid soon, but I did not think this baby would be coming now. It's a baby boy. Pascal and Nervous. Narascal? Pascus. None of these are good. Screw it. Pervis subject. We need a baby room, and this room is pretty pointless. So there's Pervis subject's crib. Obviously, we're keeping the alien theme, so I'll get that there too. This room is a full-on eyesore, and I've never loved it anything more in my life. Perfectly child friendly as well with an open fire next to the bed so I can't see any issues there. Good to go. Oh lucky hi. <laughs> this house is busy as fuck now. I did forget to sort the weather out so it's snowing in Strange Town but it is called Strange Town and that is pretty strange. Where's my baby? Ophelia! <laughs> I mean it's 100% not your job but what are you doing? Ignoring it. Um, <laughs> I think Ophelia just got scared to death. Hold on. Plead for loved one real quick. Oops. Never mind. <laughs> The reason he didn't stick around is because we're for, he's my ex. What a prick. Hold on. I can sort this. We're rich, so it doesn't really matter. Pop that there. I'm also going to keep it there because I have a feeling this is going to keep happening. Go on, give her back. 10 grand. There you go. Well, that's a nice way to get a little needs boost as well, I guess. Oh, she hates the way the phone looks. That's the only reason you're alive. <laughs> what are you talking about? Go put the baby in bed now that you're alive. Let's see if I get promoted again today, even though I don't have the friends. All the skills. Cersei has to get fired today, though. Look at that. That performance bar is bad. Oh, she's desperate for social interaction. Why don't you do what everybody else does in life and just relax on the bed and daydream about talking to people instead, okay? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I was getting a fucking child. That special day has arrived. Please select your adoption preference. Do you know what? I can't do with another toddler. I'm getting an actual kid. What is it? Calvin subject. I'm sorry that I've subjected you to such a terrible name. Welcome to the house, Calvin. Apparently no one is going to talk to you. Oh, Nervous really wants to impress the administration with his students and the school district science fair looks like the perfect opportunity. Two of his students' projects really stand out. Harry Monroe's model that hypothesizes the results of hot cocoa brewed in a volcano and Sally O'Minky, oh poor girl, I thought Calvin's subject was bad, and Sally O'Minky's holographic gelatin projector. Both are top notch and cutting edge for the elementary scientific community, but Nervous can only send one student. Who should he send? Sally, I feel like you'd probably get bullied at school because of that terrible name, so I'll let you go. O'Minky agrees to sell and as a sponsor, Nervous is entitled to a cut. Nervous receives a bonus of 760 simoleons. That would be great, but we are mega rich, so it's just fine. Right, Calvin, no one's talking to you and I'm really sorry, sir. How about you play with the cat? That can be your friend. I'm getting a maid because I can't be asked. Do you know what? I'm getting a butler. I'm rich. And then pervers subject. Get yourself in the bed. Oh, and here's my butler. That was fast. 
You can start by cleaning this mess up. You can see it right there. Or oh, walking straight past it. That's just as good. Whoa, what have you just made for us? Actually, it doesn't look overly appealing, but still, it looks fancy. <laughs> I did get promoted again. I don't understand what's happening. I did get the flu there. Oh, this is the first time I've met my son. Ugh, this girl's so bored. She needs a TV. There we go. I couldn't get it to stick on the wall, so I'm just going to place it on the fireplace like that. I don't know if that's usable, though. Let me try. Oh, it is. That's cool. You two watch TV together, and then you can finally have a friend in this house. Actually, let's all watch TV together. That'd be nice. Oh, I cannot stop abandoning this child. I'll hire a nanny, too. Oh, I missed the music. Oh, no, I didn't. It's there. But Cersei missed work today and has unfortunately been fired. And she's having a cheeky little nervous breakdown. Good. You deserve this. Well, I'm just going to leave you to it down there, okay? But I don't see why you think your life's going so bad. You've only lost your job and your husband and your house. And your autonomy. <laughs> Literally any form of freedom of movement. But other than that, it's not too bad, so get over it. Oh, what's wrong with my kid? Is it because I never spoke to you? I'm so sorry. What is he crying about? He has no memories. Well, I guess that's a good enough reason to cry, to be fair. Everyone gets promotions at this house. Is it just coded that way? Because these original families were like tutorial families and I know that Cersei is meant to get a promotion when she comes back from work I'm guessing that's why we all just keep getting promoted even though we've got no skills no friends yeah, nervous is pretty sick he keeps coughing a lot can I get him to make his own medicine actually oh, you only have logic too who's got the best logic skill here it's Cersei she has the best logic skill so give me this sim vac I knew there was a good reason for keeping her around absorb skill from Cersei I know things aren't going well but I need to do this real quick if that's all right Look, where are you running to? There's nowhere to go. Oh, I might have starved her to death. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> anyway, I'll just laugh directly in her face about it. It's fine. I've got to go to work. Probably get promoted today too. Oh, I'm healthy again. Didn't even need to make medicine or steal all of those logic skill points from her. <laughs> oh, well, she deserved it still. I'd wake up quickly if I were you, Cersei, because you need to eat anything immediately. Never mind. Never mind. See ya. Olive, are you crying about it? You don't even know her. <laughs> oh, the woman in the basement's dead. The woman I've never seen in my life. <laughs> Give it a rest. No one believes you, Olive. Oh, this is nice. Actually, I want to look at the family tree. We've got Olive. Nervous is her son. And then obviously Calvin. But Nervous' family tree is Pascal and Calvin. Calvin's half-brother is Pervis. Stepbrother? I don't know how it works. What a fa- That is nice. That is good to see. A big old family. Yeah, I didn't get a promotion, but that makes sense. But Nervous is happy. Boo, yeah, this week was amazing. Let's make next week more of the same. I can't believe I've killed so many people in a week. There was something else I wanted to do that. Nervous. You have a face that only a mother could love, although Pascal loves it too, apparently. But it's time to change that. Now, I don't want to just go use a random face. I want to try and fix this. <laughs> Just make him look a little bit more normal. So I'll start by giving you some cheeks. Did want to make his eyebrows a bit closer together, but I don't think I can. Oh, hang on. That'll do. <laughs> I guess. I won't lie. Perfect nose on you. Well done, pal. We'll plump up those lips a little bit. Kylie Jenner challenge and all that. Oh, I don't like it. He's starting to look a bit weird. I'm not doing this very well. And bring that chin in. Though it's not 100% better, but it's a bit better, I guess. And finally, I know it's your signature hawk. And you look great with it, pal. Honestly, you really, really do. But we've got to get you a better haircut. You can have this trendy little do. And I'm going to do that thing that men with no chins do. And give myself some stubble to hide it. And I'm not saying that I have a strong chin at all. <laughs> if I could grow stubble, I would. But there we go. You're looking all right. Yeah, reveal your face from behind the newspaper. That's cool. Looking pretty normal. Who is this pregnant woman in my house? by the way. I did just see her, but I didn't even question it. But uh, I knew you'd be into me. And <laughs> yeah, I look good. I, I know. Where the fuck did I get this baby from? Who just passed it to me? <laughs> It's called Pervis Subject Subject, but it's not classed as my child, so I'm just gonna put it down on the floor right there. That's for someone else to deal with. At least it's only cold hard concrete. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. We've managed to turn his life around, get him in a pretty high position in his job. He killed his captors, one of them by accident, but still we killed them. And we've got a big happy family and a fucking massive house too, actually. So <laughs> yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm feeling pretty good for poor old Nervous now, and all it took was a little bit of murder and a little bit of house theft. But thanks for joining me for another one. I really hope you enjoyed it if you haven't turned on notifications for the channel you can and if you don't subscribe already please do it does really help but i will catch you in the next one so i'll see you then